Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another cast video. So in this video, we are actually creating the Linkstons. The Linkstons are actually an elderly couple that I wanted to create and use some of the things that came in Nifty Knitting. So yes, Nifty Knitting came out on the 28th. Today is Friday, the same day that this video is actually going out. And um, I wanted to kind of play with it a little bit. And I wanted to add use some of the things that came in, especially just the baby hairs. I just wanted to use the dreads with the baby hairs. That's all I really wanted to use, honestly. But I honestly had like really, I got really fun time creating them. But the only disappointing thing was, and I'll probably mention this multiple times in this voiceover, is that Nifty Dinning did not come with a lot of cast items. And it was kind of unfortunate, even though I know like Nifty Dinning was mostly gameplay based. So, like, it came with Plopsy, the introduction of Plopsy, and the whole knitting system and stuff. But I kind of wish that there was more cast stuff, because I did have to get really creative with some of the items and try to use, like, some custom content that I have and some of the base game stuff that came in the game as well. So, Sherry has the knitting aspiration. I kind of forgot what it was called, but she has a knitting aspiration. Um, she's a creative, cheerful, and family-oriented sim, which I... Honestly, feel like that's like most grandparents. Honestly, they're pretty crafty and they're like really nice and like family oriented. Um, so I really tried to get creative with the elephants and try to give her more of a youthful but grandma esque vibe too. Because honestly, black don't crack, Sherry looks good for her age. So I honestly thought like this hair would look really nice on her, even though like I feel like it was probably meant for like younger sims or whatever, but you know, we don't discriminate here. She can have her dreads if she wants. They're obviously well cut. Look at all the jewels that are in it. Beautiful. Anyway, but I really did have fun creating her. Um, I don't have really much inspiration on like how I was trying to do things. I was just kind of using the stuff that came in the pack and seeing like what can I make what could I use to make, you know, Sherry or whatever. But her also, I started creating her husband who was Harold. Harold comes in a little bit later in this video. But Harold is an interesting sim as well. I kind of base him off my grandpa even though he doesn't look like anything like my grandpa. But I kind of base his outfits on like what my grandpa would probably wear because I feel like in my head I don't know any other like old person other than my grandpa to be honest. But yeah, so I feel like after this video and next week, I'm probably going to build like a little home for them. Honestly, I'm not that best. I'm not that great of a builder. You guys already know that. So I'm really going to try to try to make something like really basic or whatever to, you know, just have somewhere they can like, like live, obviously. And I probably have like an extra bedroom or something for their grandkids to probably come if they have any. In my head, they do. I probably they probably have like a really big family in my head. They have a big family. But the also, I just realized, the also other complaint that I had is that they didn't have a lot of hairs to fit non-white sims, which was kind of annoying. So, like, there was no, like, new hair that I can give Harold to make him look cool or whatever. So I kind of did, like, this half-balding type hair do, which I feel like it fit him well or whatever. Like, I added, like, the little glasses and I feel like it looked really cute. But, like, I honestly wish there was just more variety, more diversity when it came to the items that came with the pack. Like, I feel like they gave the dreads with the baby hairs and they were like, okay, that's your little bit of diversity. Which is kind of disrespectful because, like, I feel like there should be, like, elements of all types of, like, backgrounds and stuff that are represented in each pack that comes out. Instead of just kind of half-assing it, to be honest with you. But, you know, I feel like they're trying at... at at least we got something, but I feel like there was something. They could have done more with it. But back to what I was saying. Um, but yeah, I want to build their house next week. I hope it comes out good, to be honest with you. I only know a few type of floor plans that would look nice. So hopefully it looks nice. I don't know if I want to do like a four, like a one story or two story. I feel like I only do one story, so I probably should challenge myself and do a two story. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Honestly, I feel like as you get older, it's going to be kind of hard to go up and down the stairs. That's why I kind of wanted to do one story, because I feel like it's more realistic for them not to want to go up and down the stairs like that. But we'll see how it goes. But that I'm coming to the end of this video. I actually did Harold's like traits at the end and stuff, because like I totally forgot to do. I was just really into like, you know, creating him. But he has the nerd braid aspiration. He's active, a genius, and a good sim. But that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.